Hello guys, welcome to this video. So November I and I forms are released now and only two months are left for the examination. I think this is a golden opportunity for you all guys who deserve a better rank in their NEET PG exam and also for those who are not prepared well enough for their NEET PG exam. I will be there guys to share the knowledge that I gained during this hustle of my preparation that I just came throughout. So coming to this video guys, this video is regarding the plan that you should approach in upcoming 60 days because without a plan this level of competitive exam is very difficult to crack so basically when my internship ended in the end of march of my, uh, in the end of march uh, i basically have 52 55 days left so uh, i made a plan i made a plan of around 50 to 55 days and i stick to that plan and that plan i will be going to share with you guys in this video only so what all will this video will include? This video will include the schedule, the timetable, the number of days each subject requires, the number of revision you can do now and when to give GTs and also my some of my personalized tip that I came during my preparation phase. So now if we see from 9th of September to 9th of November, we have 2 months and around 9 weeks left. So we are going to give the weekly targets that seems achievable. So the basic plan will be three revisions or three visits to the syllabus plus GTs in our basic plan. And we will be doing the details of this basic plan in our video. So we are going to revise the whole content in three visits or three revision. Revision 1, revision 2 and revision 3 in th 9 weeks. And revision 1 is uh, of 5.5 weeks, revision 2 is of 2.5 weeks and last revision is 1 week. And your main target is the last revision because in these eight weeks in these eight weeks of your hard work, hard work you are going to make a pdf of around 1400 pages or say 1500 pages or maybe less than that according to your needs and you are going to revise that pdf in your last week you are not going to give any gts you are not going to study any uh, any any topic that you have not read in these eight weeks you are only going to read that topics and that pdf that you will be annotating through these eight weeks only okay and that pdf in that last seven days will be a major rank decider in your ni exam so so in round one of your revision you are going to revise uh, the whole content in five and a half weeks and you are not going to give any gts especially if you have not done your syllabus uh, around 70 to 80 percent before and uh, for practice you are only going to give the customized modules with hashtags of ini set okay now in the round two you are going to give gts with revision for example for day one if you give the gt you give the gt you review the gt you add the extra points from your gt to the, your self annotated notes and on the next day you revise the content from that subject with maximum incorrect also so this will be the plan and during the two and a half weeks of second revision gts alternate day gts alternate day revision and you are going to give eight to ten gts in this phase only in the round three of the revision, you are going to revise the content that you that you that you will be making in these uh, round one and round two of your revision. Okay. So now coming to round one of revision, that is five and half. Uh, basic uh, the basic plan of this revision is week wise target. In first week, you are going to do first year subject plus one short subject that is anesthesia. In second uh, in second week plus half week more second uh, one and a half week, you are going to do second year subject plus two short subjects because derma uh, some of the infections uh, some of the infection questions are related to the derma uh, and micro so you are going to do the derma and micro together and psyche and pharmacology psyche psychopharmacology and integrated with the pharmacology so you can do the uh, short sub this short subject with the pharmacology so second year subjects plus two short subjects in the third week in the third year third year subjects you are going to do in one week plus one short subject along with it that is radio in the last two weeks, you are going to do the major four subjects of the final year that is medicine, surgery, ops, gynae and peds. So now coming to the first week, in first week you are going to the, you are going to do first year subjects and anesthesia. The basic days are two days, two days, two days for the first year subject and one day for anesthesia. And what are the sources that you are referring? You can see the video that you will be, you can see the video in the description box for the sources you should use to complete these subjects in two days only okay and it also may happen that you waste time on one day you should not overthink for that day 
and study more the following day because it will happen it will happen that you will uh, you will not be able to complete your target uh, one day then you should not overthink and waste the upcoming day also you should do overwork on the upcoming day so that you can complete your target in your uh, time okay now for the second week plus half week more you are going to do the second year subject plus two short subjects pharma plus psyche in three days path in two days micro and derma say two and half days and fmt one and half days in a okay in this way you are going to do second uh, year subjects plus two short subject now for third year subjects you are going to give one week and this one week will include uh, psm ent of the and radio psm will be given three days ent one and a half days of the one and a half days and radio one day these days are enough to complete the sources that i mentioned in my videos in my previous video you can check these videos you can complete these sources and i believe that you will be able to do 80 to 90 percent of question and you know that 70 to 80 percent is the only cutoff of ini uh, okay now coming to the final year major subjects medicine should be given five days surgery four days ops any three days and peds two days total of two weeks so in this way your first revision your first revision of round one will be completed and you will be having your annotated notes from btr and rapid revision and other sources that i have mentioned in my earlier videos now comes the rapid uh, now comes the round two in the round two you are going to give the cheaties and very carefully you are going to give cheaties and add the extra point of the incorrect questions from the cheaties explanation to your btr or the btr notes okay and the plan is simple day one gt and review day two revise day three gt and review day four revise so basically you are going to give around eight to ten gts in these two and a half week now coming to the round three that is the final week you have your own you have make your own pdf you have make your own annotated pdf now you are going to revise it and you are you will be fully satisfied with your own pdf because learning someone else uh, notes will be very difficult if you have not read it before so now in the final week you will be satisfied and you are going to read only these uh, pages from your own made notes this is the basic plan round one round two and round three now coming to the well your timetable should include study eat and sleep uh, have some time with family this should be on repeat mode and if you should study eat sleep only this thing should be come in your mind each day when you wake up okay and minimum how many hours should you study you should study around 12 hours and you should sleep around six hours the leftover six hours you should customize according to your need you should not compromise with your health also because at any cost we don't want to get ill in these upcoming 60 days and also one thing i want to share with you guys that timing basically depends on you which time did you study in your whole day basically i have an inverted sleep cycle i usually studied in uh, during my night sessions i usually studied all night and then slept and, and then i sleep in the morning so it basically depends upon you uh, whether you are a morning guy or a night guy it's depend on you so i think this is the all i i show i wanted to say about the plan that i made at that time and i believe that doing this plan do uh, upon by adopting this plan you will be able to fetch a good rank uh, also uh, and if you have any doubts or question you can ask me in the comment section and and sooner i will be making a telegram channel in which we can have discussion and also we can share the notes and do follow me on the instagram and this is all for this video guys thank you and do share and subscribe this channel in, in my upcoming videos i will be making video on gts and custom modules how i give the gt and how uh, how many uh, correct i have gotten in my gts in my initial gt and my last gts what are the custom modules i what are the tags hashtags and how i approach the custom modules also i will be making some difficult topics uh, uh, simplified version uh, videos and also for the need pg people i will be making videos thank you guys for seeing the video do share and subscribe the channel